Hey guys, Project Zodiac here, and I'm finally back with another video review, and I'm finally doing my reviews for the two new singles from Ben Howard, uh, like I said I would. So I'm sorry that this took so long to do. Um, the reason why I didn't was do this um, as two separate videos um, when each single released. It was because I had a very severe cough for about three to four weeks. Um, I had to take days off work. I couldn't sleep. I was throwing up because of this cough. Like it was so bad I couldn't even really talk at all. Like my throat was hurting and on top of that, it was like strong, strong coughs every like two, three seconds and it would be a lot. And then I would only get like one minute and a half or two minutes without coughing. And then it would be like five minutes straight of coughing. So that's why I couldn't do this video when that, when that, um, when, when they released, but I'm doing them now. So I do have some updates to share at the end of the video. So definitely stick to me for those. Um, but for those of you that don't know, Ben Howard is one of my all time favorite musicians. Um, and not just musicians, but band because Ben Howard is a band, but it's, you know, when it's the Ben Howard title, it's focused on Ben, the, the singer. But then this Ben has different formations where it's like the, the singer switches and then it's kind of like that person's idea. And then the rest of the band kind of helps out here and there with a couple of songs or the whole album, um, which is really, really cool um, that they do that. So the, the whole band and all of their projects, which is so Ben Howard, A Blaze of Feather, R.D. Thomas and Tender Central. I just love their music so much and they all really resonate with me a lot uh, in so many ways and they joined the likes of bands like um, Lifehouse, Seafret, Gorillaz, Daft Punk, um, and Owl City as some of my all-time favorite bands. Um, so again, I, I love the Ben Howard band. Uh, I don't mean just the musician but like the band as a whole because of all of their projects so much. Like, their music just resonates with me. So, uh, they just released under the Ben Howard title their newest album, which is called Is It? And it just released today. So, happy release day for Ben Howard's Is It? Um, and it's his fifth um, studio album. And honestly, it's really good. So, I do have... Um, I'm not going to go into an album review here. I will be writing an album review with a track-by-track -track review as well. And that will be included in the description of my unboxing of the album. But we'll get to that towards the end because there's some information regarding that that I would need to share. Um, also, sorry, I'm um, handheld on this. I, I didn't take out my tripod. But with all that said, let's just get into the review because we got to talk about two songs, maybe three. Uh, because they released a, a single today as well. So I, I, I might as well just talk about it. So we'll see. Maybe that one will be a little bit shorter. But the first single after Walking Backwards, which was the first single of the album. So yeah, the next single, the second single, which is the one we're talking about right now, is... Wait, no, I just said that wrong. The first single was Couldn't Make It Up. Walking Backwards is the, the, the single we're talking about right now. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. I just got off work and I just spent an hour reviewing a movie, which I'm uploading today as well. Um, but yeah, so the, the first single... After Couldn't Make It Up is this single, the second single, which is Walking Backwards. And Walking Backwards is a amazing song. It's definitely one of Ben's best songs, like best songs ever made by Ben. Um, there's just... First, let me just say this because I'm going to forget. There's so many elements about this song that reminds me a lot of the band's other formation, which is A Blaze of Feather. Uh, particularly in the very intro, um, like the very, very intro right before Ben starts singing. It literally makes me think about Clock Hands from A Blaze of Feathers Labyrinth album, which is their second album. And it just makes me feel that same vibe, like you're wet from swimming and it's like you you, you feel that breeze coming in. It's like the sunset kind of vibe. Um, so... And you're just there like relaxing as your body is drying out, you know, that kind of feeling like your body is heavy and, you know, you still feel the moisture around you and all that um, and the wind blowing. So that's exactly how clock hands makes me feel. Um, 
And that's how the, the first like 30 seconds of walking backwards makes me feel. But then as walking backwards goes on, uh, there's another little section that does make me think of a different A Blaze of Feather song. I, I was trying to remember the name of it. Um, I do think it could have been, I th it was an interlude. I think it could have been Serpentine. Um, I can't really, or maybe Witching Hour. I, I can't really remember, but it, it has like a little shimmering vibe to it in the middle of the song, which makes me think of, a, of an element from a Blaze of Feather song. So that was really, really cool. Because again, it, it kind of shows like the cross vibes that the form, that the band does. Um, and then it makes me think a little bit about um, what the moon does from Ben's third album, Noonday Dream, which is my favorite album from Ben Howard. Um, and I don't know why, like there's just a few scenes and a few moments where it, it makes me think about what the moon does. Uh, particularly around the lines when Ben starts saying, just like the moon always returning, um, which is such a beautiful line. Um, yeah, and a little bit about that, I I originally heard it as just like the moon always a turning, so like always a turning, so always uh, turning around. Uh, and both versions, like you can hear it, it, it fits the song really well. So returning and a turning, uh, but the, uh, the actual lyrics is returning. And I just think that it's just really, really good. It's just such a fantastic song. It kind of makes me feel like I'm in space and when you hear it with headphones and just floating around and thinking and looking back and looking forward and the lyrics as well just really focuses on it. There's a few lines in this song as well that I relate to in big ways and I'm just like, wow, this is one of the big reasons why I love Ben Howard. Um, the music that they make, that the band makes, and the lyrics is just so poetic and so well done and so relatable to me. Uh, but in general, not just to me, like, their lyrics are just poetic, like, in general. Um, so yeah, that, that was something that always, like, captivated me and that this song has. Um, it really just makes you reflect and look forward and it's just a beautiful song that talks a lot about moving forward and that sometimes it's okay you know like if you don't think that you're going as fast as you should and that sometimes you feel like you're taking a step back like it, it's all okay because you're gonna keep moving forward and it's a beautiful song to remind us that and you know when when you hear this song even more it not only does it make you feel like you're in space, it also makes you feel like you're floating around and um, looking at things from a different point of view as well. And it really makes you reflective of it. Um, I also like that there's some spirituality added into the song too, which is pretty cool. Uh, the band does include that in subtle ways in general across all their works. Um, and yeah, it's just really really well done like that's the best thing I can say there's just a lot of effects a lot of guitar work and it just really makes you feel like you know you're taking steps forward but you know it's okay to take a, a, a step back and watch and then keep going at your own pace um, like I, I really want to say more about it it's just I'm tired and I have another song to explain um, but I will say this, this is definitely one of Ben's best musics, uh, the best songs. And it's, there's definitely something here that everyone's going to relate to in some way. And yes, there's a lot of synths, there's a lot of instrumentations. And yes, I did say it, uh, sorry, my dog just jumped from my bed. Um, there is a lot of, um, synths and instrumentations and a lot of people are going to be put be put off a little bit by it especially the beginning sounds um a lot of people are not gonna like those but when you hear it and it is it it just definitely takes you on this journey and it's just so well done my only real biggest complaint with this is that there's um i'm trying to remember how it goes like i know how it sounds but i'm trying to like formulate it um, for, uh, sorry, like, say it out loud. Um, it's like, 
da 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 um like th there's a very specific part it's like that and uh, similar to that but i butchered that so that part in particular i feel like they repeat it a little bit too much and it's very very loud um so i feel like that that could have been changed the the last actual thing that i wanted to say isn't really a complaint it's more of like i do wish that they put ben's vocals a little bit closer to the microphone because it seems a little bit further away it feels really close with the instruments um so his voice does come off a little bit quietly but his vocals in this song is honestly some of the best vocals he's done um it really surprised me how good his vocals is but at the same time it's like it's really soft it's not in Kali, but sweet and you know inviting and like comforting at the same time like it's really just some of his best vocals um and at not not only just that but like the way he sings it too it, like the song the the rhythm of the song is just so good but what i'm trying to say in terms of the vocal itself isn't even really about the rhythm it's more about um how clear it's recorded like i feel like this is one of the most clearest studio recordings of ben's vocals and i don't really know how to explain that um but his it, even though his voice does seem a little bit far away um it, it just feels very clear it feels like he's really talking with you and there's another song that his in the album because the album came out today and i've heard it like 10 times already and i'm not exaggerating um so um yeah so well the album released internationally yesterday so i've been hearing it since yesterday non-stop um so yeah a total of about 11 or 12 times i've heard the album so far so there are a couple of other songs where his voice is a lot closer um particularly in the song lunar Ec eclipse which i kind of wish was put right after this one but it's fine um but what I'm trying to say with that, because it, it fits with the whole moon theme of this song. And this song really does make you feel like you're listening to it at night. A lot of the songs on this album does. And it, it's great because I love that. Um, a lot of people were saying it's like a summer album. And you can definitely feel that. But it, it definitely just feels more like it's a night summer album. But yeah, so the the vocals on it just seem so clear. Not as like in your face and clear as it is in like um lunar eclipse but it's still like there um and it's just like clear so i thought that that was done really really well um so yeah definitely one of his best vocals just wish it was a little bit closer because it felt a little bit far back like the instrumentation takes a little bit of a, a step forward rather than his voice um and a, there's a fade out as well a lot of people didn't like the fade out um and couldn't make it up and I think it could have been done a little bit differently, but I don't have too much of a complaint against that. But the fade out here is perfect. I think they did a really good job with the fade out. So yeah, that's basically my review for Walking Backwards. It's just one of Ben's best songs ever. Um, definitely give it a listen. Now, the next song that I'm going to talk about is called Life and Times, or the full name of it, which I don't know why they don't go by the full name of it on the actual album artwork, because they do when they're talking about it. Um, it. The full name of the album is Life and Times of Cap uh, Life and Times of Captivity. And I am so glad we finally got this song. And what I mean about that is that before Ben's third album, Noonday Dream, came out, there was a train leak and this train leak was literally ben's um i think it's his agent was on the train and i guess there was a fan who knew about or who didn't know i guess it was just like one of those things where it's like you're just there and you see that person like that celebrity or something um so there was a fan that from my understanding i could be wrong on this that knew that that was ben's agent and a Apparently, I guess his seat was behind Ben's agent, or maybe he sat behind it, I don't know. Um, and Ben's agent had his laptop open. Again, I think it's his Ben's agent. Um, and he was listening to the songs from Noonday Dream, which we didn't know about. We just knew that it was um, a new Ben album and that it 
has very specific song names so we could see the entire list of the, the entire track list plus song durations for example heave ho which i made a music video for um this was one of the first videos on this channel so i'll definitely link that below if i remember uh, but if not just go on my channel you you, you guys will see heave ho there uh, which is one of my favorite ben howard songs that song was supposed to be about 16 minutes long originally um so but they trimmed it down so we had track listing and we had um temp names and um some names were, were altered and all of that but um some of those songs we got later on such as heave ho um some of the songs uh which were on the album noonday dream got a name change such as Memorations was originally Darkest Hour, but they changed the name, and we know that because of the lyrics. Uh, but then there was a few songs that we never got, and one of those songs was a song called Life in Times of Captivity, and the original version of the song was about six minutes long. Now, the press release says that the band worked on this album, Is It, for about 10 days, uh, but they originally started working on it a little bit before but the actual like recording and everything lasted 10 days so um we know that that's kind of true but also kind of not because a couple of the songs by looking at matter data we've um the pandemic kind of saw that they've been recording and work on these songs a little bit longer specifically life in times of captivity because again that was recorded or the original version of it was done during the noonday dream sessions um so it's really interesting that a New Day Dream song is being released now, um, which I really hope we get more of those songs because um, I, I just love that album so much. But yeah, so Life in Times in the Captivity, unfortunately, it's a different runtime. It's a little bit shorter than the original version uh, many years from many years ago. And unfortunately, we never got to hear that original version, but at least we got the song, which is important. Now... It, does it sound like the New Day Dream Ones um, sessions songs? It kind of does in some aspects, but not really. So we can definitely assume that they reworked a lot of that song. So we don't really know how close to the original version it is. But hey, we still got the song, so I'm happy about that. Um, now, this song talks about in different types of captivities, but Captivities in good ways and captivities in bad ways. So it talks about captivities about being stuck in a place that's not good. It talks about captivities about being, you know, in jail. It talks about captivities about singing and being that being your job. It talks about captivities about your love, you know, being in love. And so again, the, the, and that's one thing that Ben um, is so good at. It's when he's using a word, he's not using the the like the definition of it like captivity you think that you're stuck that you're in prison but that's not what he's trying to talk about here he's just mean about the place that you are um how can i say this i want to say connected with um but not necessarily connected with it's more about like your routine basically in a way for example there's a line about being in love he's not trying to say that you're stuck in love he's saying that it's you know you are captivated yeah in that way like you are captivated by this person you are with and so that's your captivity um and then there's another one about singing a lot and then there's so so you know like you're captivated by your songs your your musical um talents your musical um gifts and admiration but then there's the other side, which is like the bad side, which is like, you're, dude, you're like a captive. You're being held there in prison or something like that. So he, he sings a lot about it um, going back and forth between what the term captivity means and the word captive and um, being a captive as well. So it's a very poetic, lyrical sense when you look into that. And I think it's really, really well done. Um, I have to read the lyrics more. I only read it a few times, um, but it, it's really, really good. I do think that maybe the lyrics are part of the original, but the instrumentation does change because there are elements from Noon Day Dream here. Um, it does make you feel like, you know, it's a very sunset, like atmospheric, dreamy kind of thing. But then there are also times where it feels very 
drum machine very um like almost old school Ben in a way here which is what this album does this particular album kind of incorporates all of his styles um but makes it a little bit more pop um if that makes any sense like uh you know like regulars pop music um so it makes it a little bit more poppy more a little bit a little bit more radio friendly i think but it's not done in a way that it's annoying it's it's just like the the, ty the vibe that it's going with but it doesn't go all the way there um so it's definitely still very folk very experimental folk with some little um pop elements into it so Coming, uh, it's a combination of all his albums with some new stuff, just like every one of his albums seems to be. But yes, this song does have that Noonday Dream vibe with um, the Is It vibe. And the beginning part of it, it's a little bit strange, like some of these other songs, but it's just, um, it's definitely, definitely um, makes you go on that little like dreamlike journey with this song. And thinking about the things around you as well. Um, in good ways, too. I guess... I mean, I, I have to be honest. I haven't heard this song too much. Just because it released. And it released when I was traveling. And I barely even had time to do anything when I was traveling. Um, so I couldn't even review it. My voice was better by then. Because it released like a, a few weeks ago. Um... No, it released last week. Um, so it released last week and I was um, out of the country for a week. Um, so I, I and I was um, for a family wedding and I couldn't really pay attention to the song that much. And then I got back and work and now the album has released and the new single for the album has released. And so I've been listening to a lot of the other songs a little bit more. I've been listening to the album in whole, but when I'm I'm just wanting to listen to a song, I've been listening to the next single, which they released today a little bit more, which I will talk a little bit about in a minute. Um, so yeah, the 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 new the the life in tangent captivity is is a great song. It's a very very good song, and I guess it's not my favorite in the album, but it is definitely really really cool. Um, my only real complaint is that. The song is a little short. Um, again, it's like four minutes, five minutes long, but I do wish it was the full six minutes that it originally was. And on top of that, there's a, a fade out. A lot of the people in the fandom hates this fade out. And it's very similar to the couldn't make it up fade out where it just, just like goes. Like instead of like the walking backwards fade out where it's like long and then like it, it just goes naturally this one's like fade out starts here rather than like here so it, it just like just goes um so i feel like that could have been done a little bit differently honestly um they could have added an extra 30 seconds into the fade out just to make it a little bit normal because <laughs> it, it does feel like it, it they're like, oh yeah, this is a little, just a, just a little too long. Let's just remove thirty seconds, but let's not cut it off. Let's just start the fade out here. Um, but I don't have a big complaint with the fade out as the rest of the fandom does. But yeah, overall, I really like this song. But now we got the newest single, which they released today for the album release day. Which once again, happy album release day. I'm so it's, this album is fantastic. Um, definitely not my favorite Ben Howard album, as I said, that's New Day Dream, but it's not the worst of his. I can't really rank it, let's just say it like that. I still need to listen to it a little bit more, um, to see how I, like, where I rank it. But, this new, um, single, I'm not gonna go too long into it. This one I've been hearing so much, and it's Days of Lantana. Um... And it's a song about him and his girlfriend, um, and it's a very, very beautiful song. Ben makes amazing romance songs, um, and this song is just special. It's definitely a mixture of, um, I, I would say it's definitely a mixture of uh, his last album, which is um, Collections from the Whiteout, and then his th uh, the album before, which is Noonday Dream, and then his first album, which is Every Kingdom. It's definitely a mixture of the two, of the three of them. And this single is amazing. It's just 
like Walking Backwards is one of Ben's all time best songs. Um, it's it's just so good. Like it's romantic, it's sweet, it's like taking pleasure in your day with someone that you love, and not just that person, but also like just the people around you in your community as well and you know just having a nice day out in a walk like you're walking in your town square and eating ice cream and just watching people and um you know watching the the wind blow and the sunset and listening to the birds like that's and and you're like you're with the person that you love and even if you're just walking by yourself too you know like you you took a little stroll by yourself it, it's like that and you're just thinking about the world around you in a very beautiful way um, and the community around you so it's just it's so beautiful it's like part romance but then part um, just life it's just so well done and I really like so th it's very acoustic in this one with some instrumentations and then some um, drum uh, uh, machine elements as well so uh, acoustics more towards the um, Every Kingdom album. Um, the synths and the atmosphere more from um, the New Day Dream and then the drum machines from um, Collection from White Out all mixed in. And then the weird atmospheric night vibe um, that this third album, uh, sorry, that this fifth album has as well implemented into it. And it's just so good. It, it really just feels like it's a sepia, not even sepia color, but like sepia with like purple pink um, colors mixed in. Like it feels like a very grainy film kind of thing with like that color palette. Um, it's just so beautiful. And some people are going to be put off by it because of the intro and outro. The intro and outro are very alien sounding and I just love it. It's just so weird and just so cool. Um, and apparently that's a sample um, from a, a song uh, from a, a different musician, um, which is really interesting because I thought that um, Lunar Eclipse would have had a sample in it and maybe it does, I'm not sure. But yeah, that this song is just so good. It's just one of Ben's best and um, yeah I, I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm gonna have to be talking a lot more if I keep talking about this song but uh, Walking Backwards, uh, Days of Lantana, Spirit and Moonraker are definitely my favorites so far um, those songs are just amazing oh and Little Plant you cannot forget about Little, Little Plant um, that, that song is also amazing but yeah, so that's my review on these singles. I'll definitely be um, unboxing my vinyl um, soon when that arrives. I'm going to be gone for about a month out of the country. So I don't know if it's coming before or after, or before I leave or after I leave the country. So if it's before, I'll definitely um, upload that soon. Uh, I'll, sorry, I'll record that and upload that. And my written review for the album will definitely be in the description for that. Because for this one, I'm definitely doing that. And then, um, so that's one big update. So um, I did, as I mentioned earlier, have that cough, but in the third and fourth week, it was a little bit better where I could talk. I recorded a few videos and I'll be releasing them in time. And again, I'll be traveling. So I'm not gonna be able to make new videos for uh, two about a month, um, but I'll still be uploading videos. Um, so yeah. So, so there's still going to be some videos I'm going to be uploading. And then the last big update that I want to give is I've been working very hard on a big project for me. But it, it's going to be like a small video, but it's a very big project for me. Um, I'm just waiting on some people to send me some things that I still need for this video before I can um, make it public. Um, and I actually finish editing it and make it public. So hopefully I'll get this video up soon, but I've been working on this video for a very, very long time. So I really hope you guys do watch it. It's one of the biggest things about what this channel is for. It's not just me unboxing movies and vinyl records and video games and reviewing movies. It's not just that. It's supposed to be about things that I want to um, do um, artistically, let's just say it like that. So I do hope that you guys do watch that. Um, I'm going to be teasing it a little bit more in some of my videos. Um, I have them for a while now. 
but I'm definitely going to be going a little bit more into the tease and into the promotion for it. So please definitely watch it. Um, that video when it's out, it's not going to be very long. <laughs> the video itself is not very long, I promise. Um, the editing is basically done. Um, so yeah, and I'll be teasing it more on my Twitter. And um, there's going to be a lot of content there as well. So please follow me on Twitter. The link to my Twitter is on the description below. And... I really hope you guys get to see this video pretty soon because I'm I'm really excited for this and I'm proud of what I was able to make with this video giving the resources I had um yeah I'm just so excited for you guys to see this so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um um let me know what you guys think about these songs and the new Ben Howard album and yeah definitely watch my upcoming unboxing for it as well whenever that's out and please read the review for it and follow me on twitter with all that said guys rate comment subscribe i'll talk to you later and happy release day for ben howard's fifth studio album which is called is it so definitely check that out as well all right have a good night everyone